Hi Paul here from TravelSat, just going to do a little demonstration video for you on how to align a satellite dish. I'm using today a digital satellite finder and I've got my son Sam doing the video for me. So Sam's going to come over here and I've just turned the satellite finder on. This is a SF600, it's one of a couple of different types of digital satellite finders that are on the market at the moment. Using a digital satellite finder is really important because it makes aligning a dish so much easier. So on this one, I'll just click on OK for Find Satellite. It's pre-programmed to the Optus C1 satellite. And this is not a good example because I've been playing around already and it's, the dish is already aligned. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mess up the alignment a little bit. And I'm going to move it out of alignment. And while I do that, Sam's going to go around the other side of me. Okay, so we've totally moved the dish out of alignment at the moment. So you can see on my digital satellite meter that I've got a signal strength reading, but I've got no signal quality reading. And when it comes to aligning a satellite dish, signal strength is almost irrelevant. The most important thing is the signal quality. The beauty of using a digital satellite meter as opposed to an analog satellite meter is the digital satellite meter will only give you a reading um, on the quality scale when you're on the correct satellite. So if we look at the top of the dish, this is a uh, Optima T2 satellite dish. Beauty of this dish is it comes with a map based on the back of it. And to give you an idea where we are, we are currently camped um, between Injun and Tarum on a cattle property on the Dawson River. And if we look at the map, we're probably somewhere around where the W is on the west here. So by looking at this, we can tell elevation wise, we should be between 55 and 60 degrees. Actually, we're probably a little bit further north than where I pointed to. So we're probably closer to that um, 60 degree mark than 55 degrees. So the first thing I'm gonna do on the T2 dish down the bottom here, it's got a very unique adjustment scale for the elevation. You probably won't pick it up on the video, but there's little notches, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70 degrees. So I'm gonna set this roughly where I think it is, which is somewhere just above 55 degrees. So at the moment I can see the 55 degree mark just above, and I've just got a locking mechanism on the side here that I loosen and tighten. And then I rotate the um, dish from west towards east to see if I pick up anything and nothing's being picked up. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna adjust the elevation a little bit. I'll make it a little bit steeper. So I probably only went up about two degrees. I'll rotate back the other way. And my satellite meters started beeping again. You'll notice that I've got a reading on the quality scale now, if I get in really close here. So unfortunately it's a little bit blurred, but uh, there you go, focusing in. So as I rotate the dish, that quality will improve or get worse. So at the moment it's at 57%. So the only way I'm going to get it better is by adjusting the elevation a little bit. So I've got it up to 62% now. And now a lot of people are say, why can't you get it up to 100%? Well, look, if it's over 60, it's going to give you a good TV picture. Um, pretty much no matter what. So there's no sense playing around there a little bit more. We've got the elevation right, being this arm at this side. We've got the azimuth right, which is the direction. So I'll lock the azimuth off, azimuth off now with this camming mechanism on the side here. There's only one other um, adjustment that we make on a dish, and it's to the skew of the LNB. Based upon where we're located, the skew of the LNB, which is the angle of the LNB, should be plus 35 degrees. It's pretty much perfect at the moment. Just by making a small adjustment to it, I was able to increase the signal strength. And you're not going to be able to read that, sorry, but I was able to increase the signal strength up to 66%. So that dish is all fully aligned now. There's no sense playing around anymore. All I do is turn my satellite finder off. Disconnect the satellite finder, connect this cable through to my vast decoder, and away we go and we'll enjoy beautiful clear TV reception for the rest of our trip. Well, that's about all there is to know about aligning a satellite dish. As I say, this is the Optima T2. I'm going to do another little video soon about how to pack this dish down and the biggest advantage of it being the fact that it folds in half. 
But anyway, I hope that helped you align your next satellite dish. And this is Paul from TravelSat signing out. Thank you.